Well, folks, here again once again for the weekly forecast. And during this last week, of course, we had the very warm temperatures build into our region. And that was kind of a response to the blizzard uh, that formed up in the northeastern United States, drove a deep trough across the eastern United States, and subsequently the ridge pushed much farther north. And let's face it, the model way underplayed the degree of warmth. What was looking like uh, mid-60 degree readings ended up turning up in the middle of the week to 70 degree readings, and several records were set across the state in regards to warmest January and, of course, warmest day uh, that it occurred during the time frame for the date in question. Now, we've seen a cold front move through that brings some slightly cooler weather into our region during the latter half of the week, and now we have this storm system moving up in the southwest that's going to interact with the northern jet stream and produce a wide swath of precipitation from the south central plains up through Nebraska. Let's take a look at the upper air forecast and see how this will play out. Here's our northern stream energy, and here's that deep upper air low across the southwest that's pulling gulf moisture at the surface into our region, and in the mid layers of the atmosphere pulling that Pacific moisture up into the central plains, which will interact with this front, so we'll see an overrunning precipitation event today. It'll start it basically starting out as rain, and as the day progresses, this cold air will start to funnel in from north to south, and we should see a change over to uh, rain snow as we go through the day, and as we get into the evening, it looks like an all snow event for south central southeast Nebraska, where we'll see the greatest accumulations. Right now, the quantitative precipitation forecast for this event is indicating anywhere from a half an inch to an inch across south central southeast Nebraska about a quarter to a half inch up into northeastern Nebraska, but the far western one-third of the state, nothing is expected in terms of precipitation. Now, as we get to tomorrow, this cold air will start to really infiltrate into the region, pushing most of the energy across the Ohio River Valley, so we should see a fairly good swath of snow from Iowa to points eastward. The precipitation will come to hand here in Nebraska, and we'll, of course, have to deal with much colder temperatures. We will start to see some warming trying to build into the region as the ridge starts to try to rebuild and this system exits off the eastern seaboard, but it'll be very cool across the northeast and east central Nebraska. And as we go into Tuesday, we'll see some moderation across western Nebraska, but it looks like another front will try to push through. We might see some flurries breaking out late Tuesday. And more importantly, as we get into Wednesday, it looks like our best opportunity for flurry activity, but it doesn't look like any significant snowfall as the cold air kind of shifts off toward the eastern Great Lakes. And once again, we start to see some ridging pattern trying to build back up into the central Rockies, and we'll start to see more of that occurring as we get into Thursday with yet another wave coming through that may generate some light snowfall across extreme northeastern Nebraska. And by the time we get to Friday, we'll see that ridge building back in and much warmer temperatures look like they're going to evade the central United States. So as we look at this temperature forecast, we are looking at the worst of the climate conditions this weekend with primarily a rain-snow mix across southeast, east central, and south central Nebraska, changing to all snow during the overnight hours. Then we'll see the cold air lock in on Monday and Tuesday before another system moves through on Wednesday and then we'll see a gradual warming of temperatures. Now as we go to the 8 to 14 day forecast that takes us through next uh, from Thursday through next Tuesday, we'll see that ridge starting to build into our region. In terms of precipitation with that ridge, we would expect a shutoff of any significant moisture. Mm -hmm.